Zazarobia. Zazarobia. Daytime, they probably look a bit more colourful, but it's just at night, and as it's getting darker, they look black. But I think they're a parrot of some sort. Um, yeah, this is my psychic wound uh, here on my knee. So I've come up here after spending so much time in the past here, and um, just the shock of, of suddenly standing at a paddock and, and rushing back memories of. Uh, love affairs and moments and loss and gain and all the things that rush through you when you spend so much time with you. All that coming back and I'm walking up the hill thinking of this, not looking where I'm going. Whoomp! Straight over on my face. Luckily my hands go down and it's flat earth but there's a bloody great rock there which um, does this. And I'm thinking about Simon uh, when I'm lying there if I can't get out, of course I can't, but if I can't, okay, so it's how long is it going to be? I'm going to be able to scrape all day now. This is where they should start. And what if Simon's alone here? It's no good having a phone in your pocket, there's no coverage. He could be days up there. And then I think of those old people who have those big red buttons that they press and the bell goes off somewhere 30 miles away. Oh, maybe you should have one of those. <laughs> so, um, yes, in, impending doom, here we are. Um, dust to dust, perhaps right up there, dust to dust. But not a terrible way to go. Not a terrible way to go at all in this wonderful place. That's it. Mm. Well, it might tighten up all right. 